Hi guys, I'm Judy, and today we're going to be playing the game called Sanya. And it's about a little boy who finds a dog and he goes on some adventures and we go through his memories and we learn about him and his family and him growing up and that's all I got about the game. <laughs> um, but what intrigued me about this game is the beautiful art style and there is um, it's based in the 90s in Russia I believe and I'm just I'm just curious about how this is gonna play out. All right, let's go. This must be the puppy we're looking for. Oh, he's stealing all the toys. Aw, that's cute. I'm just gonna turn up my brightness a little bit. Sanya. Good morning, sweetie. But it's almost nine, time to wake up. And don't say just five more minutes, please. Blech. What do you mean you haven't had enough sleep? Have you been reading your comic books until halfway through the night again? Waking up at nine on a Saturday? Mom! I told you not to read with a flashlight under your blanket. It's bad for your eyes. See, he's not saying anything. <coughs> Come on, wake up, sleepyhead. It's almost time for me to go to work, and I still need you to make... I still need to make you some breakfast. Let me swaddle you in your blanket and carry you to the living room. Your clothes are already right there. But no falling asleep again. You can watch your cartoon so you won't nod off. Dang. What does that do? Does that, does that turn on the TV? We are a baby. They fought on the best basketball <laughs> I think we're trying to find something to wake him up. Maybe this one. Three, four, six. There are six channels here? Awesome. Oh, that's really, really good. He seems to like that one. I spent almost the entire summer in the country. It's because mom and dad were moving and I, well... How did my mom put it? I was getting in the way. So they sent me to my grandma's place. So sleepy. So he's not as curious about this one. Oh, it's something with a uh, Russian. <laughs> That's gonna make him sleep. He doesn't seem to like it. Does that turn it off, I think? Oh, he's got more thoughts. I love my grandma, of course. She's very soft and smells of apple pie. But she thinks that I'm still a little kid. But I'm a grown-up now. I'm not afraid of anything. I don't know, I don't think grown-ups get swaddled by their moms. <laughs> we only had four channels at the last place. And my grandma didn't have a TV at all. Dad drove me here yesterday, and then went back straight away. I wonder if he's home right now. I should check. I missed mom and dad so much. So I'm glad to be here. I hope it's not semolina porridge for breakfast today. Ew. I even have a room of my own now. An entire huge room just for myself. So he had to share with someone. My mom and dad would visit grandma too. But very rarely. Not even every weekend. I wish Dad would take me to work. I'd just sit there quietly and not get in the way. He wants to spend time with his dad even though it's boring. Aww. Guess he doesn't see his dad enough. I don't have many things though. But I've got three entire boxes of toys. Six channels feels like an infinity. No, that's making him sleep. That's making him sleep, too. That's gonna make him sleep. I think we turn off mom. Oh, mom, I laid out your clothes, so go get them from the sofa. I just washed your overalls and mended the tear 
on the tear on the knee. Don't you get them dirty again if you go outside. You'll be washing them yourself if you do. Now get dressed and come to the kitchen. Your porridge is almost ready. <laughs> we're not we're not watching TV. We got we got stuff to do. Sonia, breakfast is ready. A new thought. Good morning? No, best morning. It is a beautiful new day to explore this new world I have arrived in. Okay, so... Completely different thoughts come to mind during the day. I guess we'll see what they are. An hour in the evening is worth two in the morning. I will come up with something special. Okay, um... So is there anything to interact with here? There are more books here than we had before the move. Where do I, my parents even get them? Okay, I'll take a look later. It is time for breakfast. Mom is waiting. Little Matroshka. I can't interact with anything. Ah, uh, creak. I should watch my step before I blow my cover. Haxander, your breakfast is getting cold. I'm like Batman, swift and silent. And I'm running to mom in the kitchen. I don't know anybody around here. Who could I call? Can you call your grandma? Mom, wait, <clears throat> I didn't read that. <laughs> I'm working until late today, but we'll have a spring cleaning tomorrow. Again, mom, but tomorrow is Saturday. What did you expect? Moving always creates a mess. I have been mopping so much that I now have arms like the Terminator. Good, then you'll do it faster this time. But mom... Well, so we won't be doing it until tomorrow, right? Yes, we'll do it tomorrow. We need to finish unpacking today. Can you tackle the boxes? Easy as pie. Can I then go outside? Sure, love you, dear. Love you too, mom. Whine about school? Mom, when will I go to school? Oh, he's not going to school. That's why she hasn't... Because I thought nine was quite late soon but when as soon as we get you your school uniform then we can go can't i go without it is it possible they can't afford one for him or like maybe they're just saying that he can't go until they get it maybe they can't afford to send him to school at all no maybe we shouldn't buy it then why waste your money and no, smarty pants, you have to go to school. Okay, so they do want to save up for the uniform. All right, you will like it there and you'll see. And I'm sure you'll like your uniform too. You can choose the jacket at the market. Can we just buy it? What the, what the, what was that? Where, I saw something. Can we buy it at the store? Oh, where? Oh, at the store. Okay, Gasetochka. Uh, that's a newspaper. In 1990, in Russia during the 1990s, going to the market for clothes was more common than going to a store. This was largely due to economic and social changes that occurred during that time period, particularly after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Traditional markets, often referred to as bazaars or, or uh, runoks in Russian, played a significant role in the retail landscape. They offered a wide variety of goods, including clothing, often at lower prices compared to formal retail stores. Additionally, the informal and bustling atmosphere at the markets provided a sense of community and social interaction that many people enjoyed. As a result, it was quite common for people to frequent these markets for their clothing needs rather than opting for store-bought garments. The market is almost as good as the store. But there are no dressing rooms and everyone's watching. No whining, Alexander. No one will be looking at you. Just try it on quickly and we can go home. Ask about Dad. Is Dad working all day again? Yes. He'll be back in the evening, but you'll already be sleeping. No, I won't. I will sit here waiting, just like you do. Of course you will. You'll start nodding off after half an hour, and I'll have to carry you to bed. Will Dad stay home tomorrow? Tomorrow, huh? I don't think so. He needs to go to the city again for the weekend. And when will he stay home? Sonia, your dad is working hard so we have something to eat. Come on, stop grumbling. We'll visit your grandma next weekend. All of us together? Pinky promise? 
I do promise if nothing changes, Dad will drive us there. Your grandma made a lot of pickled cucumbers. She'll probably bake some apples too, just for you. Ooh, apples, awesome. Go do your stuff. All right, I'm off. Hold on, Sanya. You're old enough already, so Dad and I have decided. You should have your own key to our flat. Let's go. Oh, cool, so I can leave and come back whenever I want? Yeah, it's been a long time since I didn't have a key to my house. A new thought. Uh, it's Semolina porridge for breakfast again, and there are lumps. Gross. Dad is at work again. Mom asked me to unpack the boxes in my bedroom. I need to do it before she comes home, or she'll get angry with me again. Okay. Um, and then are we going to your room to do... What's wrong? <clears throat> she looks defeated. Just promise you'll handle it responsibly, alright? Alright, I promise. Promise you won't misplace it, or give it to someone, or lose it. Or drop it, or forget to lock the door, or... Responsibility. I get it, Mom. Good, here. Take it. What does that say? I don't know what that means. It's like the... <laughs> It's like Cyrillic, but like cursive. I can't read it. So, I don't know. Something in your pocket. Good, here, take it. Remember, you should turn it four times. Now try to open and lock the door again. You need to time it just right. Wait, what? One. Two. Three. Do I have to time it after four? Four. One. Oh, two. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> Three. Four. The trick is to turn the key at the right time. <clears throat> Alright, now lock it. Mom, go on. I want to make sure. The trick is to turn the key at the right time. Yeah. Nothing bad will happen. Is he worried about it? I'm sure mo his mom had him practice before she gave him one. Okay, looks like you got it. Just please, be careful outside. Don't go too far, don't lose your key, and... Never mind, you know the rest. I'll be back in the evening, dear. Bye, Mom. Smells like Mom's perfume. I wish everything in the world smelled like Mom. Aww, that's cute. Oh, my palms are sweaty. I'm ready to see what's up. Better stay here. Hang on. There was a new thought. I'm all grown up now. Mom gave me my own key so I can go outside whenever I want now. Uh, only big boys are allowed to have one. Boys like Alexander Valentinovich. Boys like myself, that is. Yeah. What's this? Brr. treasure. Oh, there's a goldfish. Cookies, a little salty. Salty cookies. Interesting. So burbo and cookies. Burbo? Yeah, burbo. Um, wait, is there something... There's something else over here to look at? Oh no, we already looked at that. We can't... Where's the room? Mom plays the guitar so well, except she doesn't have the time to play anymore. That's why there's a thick, such a thick layer of dust. Ew. Oh, I think that is my room. My favorite chair. We brought it along when we moved to this flat. I think it had even been around... I think it had been around even before I was born. Alright, where are all the tapes? I have to find them. Right now I don't even have anything to listen to. Did she say we have to do the boxes? Grushki. So, what if I put away my toys in the evening? It's not like mom would come back early. Yeah, but she wants us to do it now. She won't even know I didn't do it straight away. But if she- <laughs> The teddy stalked us. But if she figures it out, you're grounded. 
Yep, totally. Remember- this is like Toy Story. Remember how cross she got when you didn't make your bed? Did we make our bed? Yeah, we gotta put the toys away. Oh, I'm glad I- I'm glad- I'm glad we looked at this. How you arrange it all? Oh, got it. I'll sort you all by color. No color should repeat neither a column or a line. So it's like- it's like Sudoku. Then everyone will have their own place. <gasps> it's a Junimo! These didn't exist in the 90s. What? Why did that move? So if we do like... Wait, why are you going with me? Let me do all the green. Wait, does the diagonal matter? I need my brother's... Wait, oh, they have like... Oh, they're... You don't like that spot. You want to stand with your brothers. Okay. So, they're okay. They're green. But you want to stand with your brothers. Is there a green one? How many are there? No colors should- ah! No colors should repeat. Okay, they're all happy we're all together again. We fear no one. Hail Sonya. So this- whoa! Whoa, what's that? Rules, don't let the colors repeat in rows and columns. Oh, uh, brothers must stay together, scared to fall. You're scared to fall. So he's okay there because it's not too close to the, the ledge. So we've- we can put an orange here. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Um, that's a ball. And we can put something gray here. He's weird, that puffy orange guy is weird. You don't- what are you calling weird? Puffy orange guy is weird. Um, can I swap these two? You still- uh, you don't like- Let's play soccer. You're fine there. Um... Ah, it's interesting how you like move the- oh, you move things! So are you okay with this orange thing here? Guy man is ready for battle. And then we just need a gray one here. Uh, is this a candy? Am I missing something? Uh, gray? I... Why am I down here? I want to be higher. Okay. I'm missing one item. Where the- where's the other thing? Hooray! I did it! Nice. Phew, I'm tired. Okay, so we put all the toys away. You made a promise to mom and you kept it. Alright, I'll sort the rest of my toys some other time. Just imagine spending the rest of your life like this, cleaning up. Terrifying. You should play some cleaning games. They're kind of fun. A new thought. I unpacked one box. It was difficult, but I went through all of my toys and put each one where it should be. I'll deal with the other boxes sometime later. Tomorrow, maybe? Aren't- are there other bo- Dude, we gotta- Hello? We gotta finish our unpacking. Did you make your bed? Hmm, where's Bobik? I should ask Mom, but she's at work. Or I can ask Dad. What if they lost him during the move? Wouldn't be hard with all these boxes. Oof, I need to find him. So you need to find Bobik. I don't know what Bobik is. Okay, so I can only really interact with things with little bubbles. That's not it, is it? I can't- Wow, you're just gonna half-ass that job? Hello? Okay. Well, we did- we did all we could there. Slippers. We're not watching TV, we got stuff to do. We gotta help mom. Do we need our hat? And we gotta make sure we lock the door when we leave. Laundry? Fresh laundry. My mom put it up to dry only this morning. I wonder what's in the bag. Must be some junk left from the renovation. I should rummage through it someday. Maybe I can find something exciting. Laundry. You finished your food, right? Do we want to close the window? Hey, there are some guys climbing up the construction site. They sure got up high. Oh, he almost fell. They're so cool. I should go outside right now. Oh. So we think, we think being dangerous is cool. No. No, it's not. 
Okay, we gotta lock the door. Oh, my palms are all sweaty. I, I'm i ready to see what else what's out there. Did we lock the door? Did we lock the door? Close the door when you leave the apartment. Good. Do we need to lock it? C&K Onyx? Is it like the Pokemon? Garage? Garage for sale. Oh. I would definitely buy a garage if I had money for it. I would build a little house in there and never put away my toys. Prodigy? Oh, I met a boy when I was at my grandma's place. He always wears shorts, shirts with this picture. Maybe he also lives somewhere around here. I can't read that. Graffiti. Soy lives. Who is Soy? Soy is a reference to Victor Soy, a prominent Soviet and Russian musician, singer, songwriter, and actor. He was the leader of the band Kino, which was one of the most influential rock bands in the Soviet Union. Soy's lyrics often contain philosophical and existential themes, and he became an icon of Soviet and Russian rock culture. His music and legacy continue to have a significant impact on Russian music and culture even after his death in 1990. Oh, okay. Cool. Something pisat is to write. Can't see it. I don't know what that first one means. Stinya. I don't remember. <laughs> Do not write on the stairwell, probably. I can't read the cursive. <laughs> Wait, can I walk? Oh, I can't move. I can only go left and right. I can't go like forward. <clears throat> Pro. I don't know what that means. Okay. Mom says writing on walls is vandalism. But sometimes vandalism can be very pretty. It's Sanyalism. Because that's our name. Sanya. Sanyalism. Eek. There's something out there. Creepy. Should I check it out? Yeah, sure. Why not? Me. Don't go in the forest? I don't know what that says. I should go only when it's safe. Wait, what? Then it won't notice me. What if it's an alien? I wonder if it can abduct me. Mom says it might. Okay, I should go when it's quiet. Only when it's quiet. So is it when it's red, it's not quiet? This is creepy. I'm scared of what happens if I move when it's loud. Does it does it matter? Is this a stealth mission? Is that my heart racing? Some the box is moving or something. It, oh, is it the dog? Oh, it's fine. Oh, I guess we don't want to scare it. I can't read that. I don't know what that means. It's closed. But there is definitely something dangerous inside. Otherwise, why would somebody hide it? I have to open it and take a look. Whoa. Done. Time to see what's in there. <laughs> Aww. Oh, it instantly loves him. You don't look like an alien, do you? But maybe you are an alien dog. Oh no, he's scared. Just don't take me to your planet. How about I take you instead? We can be friends. Will you be my friend? Touch the doggy or use Q.
Find the puppy. Cool, I knew you would agree. Good boy. Or, wait. You're a girl. What a good girl, then. Oh, Bobik. Is Bobik a puppy toy? Oh, are we supposed to call Dad? Oh. I didn't... I didn't realize there was a thought to read. Hey there, Doggo, will you be my friend? Okay. Can we go back upstairs and call Dad about the, the stuffy? What number was our house? My mom will get angry if I bring you home like this. I need to figure out what to do with you. Oh, we can't call Dad. Whoops. Who puts a puppy in an apartment building? In a box. Now, is there anything over here? Like, is this the front door? Bada, people. Water and beer. Piva. Oh, that's pretty. Oops. <clears throat> Hi, friends. That's so pretty outside. It's really bright. Look, everybody. It's the new kid. With a new thought. Music got a little loud. Okay. Round up. <laughs> That's a nice button. Uh, thoughts. I met Max, Artyom, and Eve. They're cool. I think we'll be besties. Hope they don't mind letting me and my dog go hang out with them. Look, everybody, it's a new kid. Where did you come from, Shorty? I'm not short. I'm. Only Shorties get mad at being called Shorty. So what? I make up for it by being so good at hiding, no one can ever find me. I can even hide from my mom. Now that sounds interesting. Well, we'll put this to the test someday. I'm Max, by the way. I'm Sanya. Don't be like that, Max. He'll get scared and refuse to be friends with us. I'm Eve. Nice to meet you. Aww. He's sniffing him. What's your name? Artyom. But my friends just call me Tioma. Cool. And this here, well... He is just dog for now. I haven't come up with a good name for her yet. That's not even a real dog. I, for one, will get a boxer or a Great Dane. Now that's a dog. We'll see if it's a real or if it's real or not after you get one. What? It could be stupid or wimpy. My dog cannot be stupid. Dogs take after their owners. Look at this one. He's just as runty as you are. She'll grow up. She needs to be fed. Aww. What did she throw? Oh, this cheese. Don't worry, dogs. Don't worry, dogs can eat cheese. And I'm not hungry anyway. We had a dog, old Jessie, but she wandered into the woods and never came home. Ah, yeah, there was a sign, there was graffiti on the wall saying, don't go into the woods, to the forest. Yeah, she ran away and became a ghost. And now she's waiting for you there and howling, Eve, oh, <laughs> shut up. You're just afraid of ghosts. Don't mind him. He can be an ass sometimes. So, where did such a fluffy come from? I found her. Are you sure it's not somebody else's dog? Well, she's not wearing a collar, is she? No collar means no owner. Oh, she's sitting. But what if somebody is looking for her? Maybe she's trained. Sit. Does not look like it, after all. She doesn't belong to anyone. Give her a name and put it on a collar then. This way, she'll have a proper owner. Her name should be special, and it should suit her well. Pumpkin. Yeah, that fits. Aw. It took you so long to call her Pumpkin in the end? Well, I like it. She looks like a pumpkin to me. All she needs now is a collar. I have a piece of string. We can make a collar out of it. Cool, it'll do for now. Now she needs a doggy tag with your name on it and your address. 
And don't forget about your phone. I mean, your phone number. Which tag is better? Our Jessie had a small metal heart with the words pretty girl on it. Ask the boys, maybe they'll think of something. Um. You're Tioma, right? Uh-huh. People always forget my name for some reason. And then they call me Timosha or something, or even Boris. Although Boris is nothing like Tioma. I have a good memory. I even learned how to count early because I quickly memorized all the numbers. This is what mom tells all of her friends. Uh, but does it matter? Every baby learns how to count, walk, do stuff at their own pace. And when you're an adult, no one walks around bragging about that. <laughs> I wonder how old Sanya is. Like maybe, maybe like 10? <clears throat> I wanted to ask you something. My dog needs a tag in case she gets lost. Well, Ten... I, th I think... Maybe he's not battled, because, like... The mom carried him out of bed. So he... Maybe he's, like, eight. <clears throat> Which one would work? Tell me what you think. I have this one, but it's made of paper. It'll do for now. But you need to put your dog's name on it. Do you have any pencils? Thank you. Only at home. Eve, have you got any? Nope, but if you want me to rate it for you, just ask. My pen penmanship is impeccable. It is because your mom hits you on the head with textbooks. What? No, she doesn't. I saw your handwriting. It is very pretty. Okay, we might have to go home and put a name on that paper. Hey, Max, I do not know which tag would be better. Do you have any ideas? I don't know what they told you. But it's all rubbish. I have a metal tag here. You can write your dog's name on it with a marker pen and it will never rub off. Thanks. Wow, awesome. I know, right? But it's very expensive. Very expensive? How much is it? 100 oak leaves and three fresh acorns. Hey, are you nuts? I'll break my neck if I climb up to get them. But this tag is worth it. It's not just a piece of string. I guess I might swap it for something. Do you have anything valuable? Well, I guess I have a lot of toys at home. Toy cars, superheroes, they're cool. Bring them to me and we'll take a look. But if they are junk, our deal is off. Is there anything else we can do over here? I think we have to... The dog might stay outside. Oh, she's following us. Hello. Hello there, I'm Sanya. Don't you want to introduce yourself? I do. You're very distracting. You made me lose my train of thought. I'm sorry, I thought you weren't busy with anything. Dreaming is what keeps me busy most of the time. So what is it you wanted? I'm Sanya, what's your name? I'm Stas. Can we be friends? I don't know, maybe. If you don't want to, just say no. Maybe I do. It's just that I'm seeing you for the first time today. How should I know if I want to be friends with you or not? What are you thinking about? I was choosing which chewing gum to buy today. I would buy the apple flavored one, but I like strawberry. Then buy strawberry. And what if I'm not in the mood for strawberry today, huh? Then go with apple. That's easy for you to say. I've been saving up for this gum the entire week. Gathered and handed in an entire bunch of beer bottles. I even took a couple from Hrappish when he got drunk and passed out. Well, and my sister gave me a little cash too. I can't mess up and buy the wrong thing. Sorry, I didn't realize it was so important to you. Here's what we can do. You'll buy strawberry, and I'll ask my mom to get me apple. We'll split them in half and do swapsies. Hmm, you're clever. I'll think about it. Come over tonight if you manage to get the apple gum. Ah, okay. Found a boy named Stas in the lean too. He's a bit strange, but seems nice. We agreed to swap chewing gum later. I'll get apple, he'll get strawberry. Must remember. So... Are we in the afternoon now? Oh! Can we go back? I don't know if it lets you backtrack, because I, I want to go get this stuff. Well, I think you can. That's interesting how, like, walking makes time go by. But when we come back, it's morning, right? Can I click that? No, I can't. 
don't follow me. Mom will get angry if I bring a dog home like this. Hey, puppy, how about we ask Eve to look after you? Yeah, that's good. I like Eve. Very helpful. And what's his name? Artyom? Or Troshka? No, I can't remember what his name is. Aw, she's sitting in his lap. I can't even talk to him right now. Eve, I have a surprise for you. Wow, is that a gift? Wait, don't tell me. Is it candy? Or maybe it's chocolate. No, wait. It must be an insert from a Burbo chewing gum. This gum was a popular chewing gum brand in the Soviet Union. It was introduced in the 1960s and became one of the most recognizable and widely consumed chewing gums in the country. The gum's popularity continued even after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, and it remains a symbol of that period in Russia and post-Soviet culture. This gum often included inserts or collectible cards inside the packaging, which children love to collect. As a token of our new friendship, right? Or not really, it's something even better. You can play with my dog while I run home real quick. Cool, isn't it? Wait a minute. This is Tom Sawyer's trick. I read that book too. Damn, well, can you look after her for a minute, please? Of course I can, but come up with a better surprise next time. Thanks. And by the way, give her the chewing gum. We don't need it. I do have a burbo. Here you go. So, we have bur we have a chewing gum, but is it is it apple? This is for helping me. Sonny, you sneak. Thank you. Okay. So, I, I think I think it's gone, right? Yeah, it's completely gone. So, he did talk about asking mom for chewing gum. But, was I supposed to use the one that I had for the other boy? I think we can get more. I feel like we can. Okay, so I do want to call dad for the doll. I can call my dad's workplace to ask him about Bobik. He left me a piece of paper with his number somewhere. Is it in the purse? I don't even know how you scribble with these. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's coins. Uh, rubies? Are we allowed to take that though? That's our, that's not ours. I guess we're gonna go buy some gum. Is there any more in here? I don't think we should be stealing money from our mom's purse. Okay, I think that's everything. So we can't use those to rate with. Thoughts. Um, I need to find dad's work number so I can call him. And then we're still looking for uh, pens. I think we had some stuff in our room. Oh, here's a mom. Oh, mom will be mad if she realizes I touched that. That was grandpa's birthday present. The ink in this pen must have dried up ages ago. Yeah, we're not using that. No, 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 no. Mom is teaching me how to read, just a little. But I don't like books. They have too many letters. I start getting sleepy. But comic books are a different thing. I wish I could watch cartoons all day. No, it won't even let us. Hello there, friend. It's a shame to give you away. You're so pretty. Yeah, oh, I forgot we need a toy for um the other boy. We had pens, didn't we? These pencils will do stuff in the pockets. Now, he said we needed a marker. I'm not giving this away to anyone ever. This is my treasure. Oh no, we had our own coins. I feel bad taking the coins from the purse. I don't I don't know if we were supposed to do that. I think mom's gonna get mad. Yeah. What does that do? Wonder if Max likes toy cars. Yeah, we can try it. Now with that pen, something new is in your pockets. So we can't get a pen. It doesn't even let me look at the pen anymore. Was there a marker somewhere? We're still looking for the paper with the number on it. Is that it? Va Valentine M. That must be the dad. 
Rabota is work. So we'll use that when we need to call dad. Oh, there's something in here. What are you doing here? I watched a cartoon where a midden turned into a puppy. But I'm a grown up now. I know it's impossible. Maybe Max watched that cartoon too. Then he's gonna like this mitten. Okay. I really should wash the plate. Oh, we can do the dishes. Yeah, let's do the dishes. Mom, mom will. Oh, you don't even have to do anything. Okay, I'm just gonna do a final scan of the house, make sure there's nothing left to examine. We're gonna have to call dad. We don't have to clean, do we? No. You don't want to give that one up, hey? Nope. Okay. So let's call Dad. There's all these cupboards everywhere. Oh my gosh. I don't remember the... 532-1597. Oh my gosh. Five? <laughs> I haven't done these. Three? I'm gonna forget it. Two? It was two, 1597, right? Two? Fifteen... It'd be funny if we called someone by accident and they were like, hello? It'd be funny if there were a bunch of numbers we could call by accident. Nine. Seven. I think we got it. Hello, Dad. It's me, Sanya. Sorry, I thought this phone was out of order, just like the other one. No, nothing happened. Mom is already at work. Oh, so he's pretending he was playing with the phone? Maybe the dad accused him of playing with the phone. No, nothing happened. Mom's already at work. Yes, no, it was Semolina again. So we want to- I want to ask both of these, but we do want to know where Bobik is. No, I checked everywhere. Inside the boxes, too. Friday? Then I'll have to wait an entire week. I want to ask the other question too. Okay, I'll try looking for him myself until then. All right, I gotta run. Bye, come back soon. Oh, we can ask him that. I see, all right, maybe some other time. Bye, daddy. Bye-bye. Uh, thoughts? Dad said, said he won't be able to help me until Friday. That's a whole week of waiting. Looks like I'll have to look for Bobik myself. So, um, whoops, back, pockets. Can we, pretty and bright pencils to draw whatever I want. Okay, we can't raid on it currently. Go back to the yard. Did we close the, did we lock the door? Hello? I guess we only had to do it in the beginning of the day. You said you were gonna help with writing. Look! I taught her how to spin. Pumpkin spin. Uh, she did it just fine a moment ago. It's always like that. She's just nervous. I think she spent more time with the girl, with the dog than you have, dude. That's okay, we'll teach her plenty of tricks. You know, I was thinking. Do your parents even know you found a dog? Er, not yet. When will you tell them? I don't know. Today, I guess. I can't leave her outside during the night. Of course not, she's gonna die. Or she'll become one of those scary mongrel dogs that live next door. Have you seen them yet? Nope. Are they really scary? That's one way to put it. Mom says that if they bite you, you'll have to take a hundred shots for rabies. Right in the stomach. Oh, I do not want Pumpkin to become a mongrel. But what if my mom doesn't let me keep her? And ask your dad. Dad won't even listen to me. I guess I'll have to convince Mom. 
somehow. Maybe your mom will like her if she learns tricks. My mom really liked it when Jessie did follow commands. She even taught Fessy to fetch her slippers. Except Pumpkin is not learning. We're probably doing something wrong. I read you have to give a dog biscuits so it learns better. Want to give it a try? Sure, I actually have something right here. A dog treat. Cool. I think she'll learn faster this way. Are we using the puppy treats? Hi. Sit. Do I use my pockets? Does the girl say anything with that? I thought you were gonna help write on the name tag. You can't click on those. Aww. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if that really helped. Give pencils. Hang on. Uh. Oops. Now, you wanted a toy. Let me talk to you first. So we can try a lot of these and see which one he wants. Here you go. Did you see the cartoon where a mitten turns into a dog? That cartoon is for babies. Who needs such a stupid dog? Bring me something worthwhile. Here, look. It's almost new. I like it a lot. That seems alright. Nice. Okay, deal. Here's your tag. And a marker pen to add the name. Like as promised. Now your dog will be the coolest. She's always been the coolest. Thanks for the tag, I mean. Anyway, always, you say? She's kind of small for that. Easy, easy. Alright, alright. She has always been cool. She's the coolest dog ever. Was the dog attacking him? Now I need to write her name. I learned- I named her Pumpkin. Oh my gosh. It clicked right into- oh, oh, we can choose colors. Let's go like- oh, these are bad. Huh? Oh, the- oh, I think the yellow one's probably brighter. But the red one is fine too, the green one is kind of like- Either the yellow or the red. That's interesting. Um, I'm gonna run in a room. And... Got it. Nice. 100 oak leaves and 3 acorns. Make a metal tag for pumpkin. Nice. Yeah, so we, we have to find the toy, but... I didn't see it in the house. Max helped me. Now my doggo has a cool metal tag on a string. Cool. So, there's just this. That's the only thing we wanted to fix in the afternoon. Okay. Do you have your name tag? I don't see it. Let me go. Let's talk to you for a second. Hey, do you know Stas? The one with the lean to? I do. We go to the same class. He's an okay guy. Not too friendly, is he? A bit hard headed. But don't be afraid to talk to him if you need anything. finding things. Oh, well, wanted to, if we give him gum, he's probably gonna help us find the, the toy. I just want to talk to her. Dude, she's gone. I didn't look over here much. Ooh. My window, I can see it from here. Hopscotch? Aw, cute. We're gonna talk to Staff soon. Wow, you're good at this. Do you know how to play? Try to beat me. Eve, Eve. Yes, Grandma? Go buy some bread, would you? And take your friends. Bring back two loaves of white bread and a loaf of rye. Got it? Two loaves of white, one rye. Sure did. Then say it again. Two loaves of white bread and one loaf of rye. Good girl. I'll throw down the money. Bread is life, Grandma. <laughs> Cute. So we're going shopping. Oh my gosh, he just 
Oh, no. Oh, no. No bread for me now. Grandma will be so mad. It's Grandma's fault. Uh, maybe we can get it out. Let's hope it didn't roll too far. Now, if I taught the dog how to play fetch, this would be easy to get. Don't be silly. How will you fit through? The hole's tiny. But what if it's not me? Sanya, do you think Pumpkin can do it? I do not know. I have not trained her yet. We might as well start now. She'll learn quickly and fetch my little... My little purse. Go ahead, give it a try. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what my grandma likes to say anyway. Let's give it another go. Pumpkin fetch. Come on. I was waiting for the bubble. I forgot you could just press her. That's not it either. Oh, we might make some money off that. Can we exchange that? I knew she's too young and too stupid. She does not understand what you want from her at all. She's learning. Let her try one more time. She'll get it. Pumpkin fetch. That's so cute how you can use her. Oh, I should have gotten her to try with a stick. Oh, hey, we got it. Pumpkin, you clever girl. Who's a good puppy? I knew it. I knew it. We, it would all work out. Well done. Alright, we need to reinforce this. Say something nice. Do you have anything delicious? A piece of cheese or maybe a sausage? Why would anyone carry a sausage? I have a cookie. Will it work? I do not know. We never gave Jessie anything sweet. Let's try it. Maybe she'll like it. Alright, I'll let her sniff it. Come on, hand me your pumpkin. Come here, puppy. She ate it, even enjoyed it. Nice, hooray. But you should find a proper treat, a bone or something like that. We're going to the shop anyway. They have all sorts of doggy treats. Is the shop far from here? Not really, about 10 minutes on foot. Let's if you ride a bike. Then let's ride, you have a bike, right? I do, but it's at home and, well, hurry up or we'll leave without you. Max, we'll wait for you, don't worry. So we gotta get the dog. Do we have to take the dog with us? Um, also like, the bike. Huh. Eve dropped her purse, but Super Dog Pumpkin helped her find it. Now we need to grab the bikes from home so we can all go to the store together. Found a boy named Stas in the lead too. He's a bit strange, but seems nice. We agreed to swap chewing gum later. I'll get apple, he'll get strawberry. Must remember. Oh right, okay, we did, we did that, and then... Is this something I do right now? But I think he's gonna help us find uh, Babic. I wish you could run. I wanna, I wanna go walk over here. I don't know if there's anything past. Um, what's the guy's name? The the boy. Hi, puppy. There's nothing to fetch, is there? There was the sticks. I want to try that on the way back. Oh, hey, cheese. Oh, I can't grab that? No. Does someone actually live here? can go there right now. It looks like they'll want us to go there later. Oh, there's a construction crane. The little boots are no longer making squeaky noise. Oh, did we break into our shoes? Can you fetch that? Oh, 
Oh, I can tell the dog to go places. Oh, I can't, I can't pet her. I'm gonna try with the sticks, because it looked like, you know, something to play with fetch with the dog. Yeah, so we don't have squeaky shoes anymore. That's probably good. I love this colored fence. Oh, you can't do it. Ah, okay. I thought you could do something with those. Apparently not. Can't interact with that. I'm supposed to get the bike. I'm supposed to get the bike. Can I go get it and leave the dog out here again? Okay, I did I do all my stuff? It'll probably be evening by the time I come back. Um. Yes, yes, I did. Off to the shop quickly. The only thing is, like, we need to get the gum for that boy, and then he'll probably help us find the stuffy. I think. need the bike oh the guys are waiting for me at the start line how do I spin these pedals again wait what what oh I see you alternate between them to go faster Kinda goes into the tempo with the music. Oh, that's so cute! I like that. Yay! Thanks. That's cute. I like that. Pradutki products? Miasa? What's Miasa again? I think it's. I wanna say butter or oil? And sear is cheese. Malaka, Malako is uh, milk. Yeah, 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 black. Ku is apples. I love bikes. I guess, uh. Is this the market or is that the store? We just got lucky. I'll come first the next time, you'll see. Haha, <laughs> Max, he beat you. You're a loser. Once is no custom. Great job, Sanya. Okay, let's let's buy the bread and go home. So it's two white and one rye. Oh, 15 minute break. 15 minutes. Well, here we go again. I knew it would be closed. Listen, Katya is working there alone now. She also needs breaks. She must be having a lunch break. Should we wait? Or she may be doing inventorization. What? Inventorization. Okay. Put it down. Katya will be in trouble if something goes missing. Alright, let's wait. What else is there to do? I guess we could talk to them. You don't want to talk. And who is Katya? A friend of mine. She works here. I will introduce you. She's nice. She's studying at the university and she helps her parents to run the store in the summer. 
Wow, cool. Can she give you a discount as a friend? I don't think so. My mom says her parents are not doing too well right now. Running a business is tough and all that. Eh. I can't talk to you. Oh, I thought I could. Do not touch. As if I wanted to in the first place. Mitrogat? I don't know what that means. Bread? Kib? I don't know what that says. I can't read that. Kartoshka is... Uh... I can't remember. <laughs> I used to study some version. I can't do anything here. Pomidori? Oh, that might be pomegranates? I don't know. Kartoshka. Yeah, Kartoshka is. Uh, I think it is potato. So, what else do we do while we wait? Kvass. Kvass is a traditional fermented beverage in Eastern Europe. It's typically made from fermented black or rye bread, water, yeast, and sometimes flavored with fruits, herbs, or spices. The fermentation process gives kvass a slightly tangy flavor and a low alcohol content, usually less than 1%. It's often consumed as a refreshing drink, especially during the summer months, and is known for its reputed health benefits and refreshing taste. It's bitter and it stings the tongue. Yeah, I'd be surprised that kids wouldn't really like it. Oh, is this Katya? Ah, oh, what a nice dog! Hello! What a cutie, what's his name? I like how everyone has a different color uh, speech bubble. It's Pumpkin and it's a girl. Hi, sweetie, you're adorable. I had a dog with a coat just like her, but a big one. Well, she still has some growing up to do. And she'll be a loyal friend if you treat her well. I will. I'm going to build her a kennel and feed her treats. Oh, Does she know any tricks? Um, she can look for things. Is she trained to give you a handshake? Shake! Nope, she is not. Not yet. Well, this trick is easy to learn. Do you want me to help? If you know how? Of course I do. Look here, you take her paw, say the command out loud, and then let go. Then you reach out your hand and say the command again. If she understands, give her a treat. And do it several times so she remembers it. Touch the doggy. It worked! It took her three times to understand me on the last try. I'm sure she'll get better at it with every time. Just train her often. So what are you doing here? Oh, so we can practice training in between stuff. Just to refresh her memory. It's probably, you probably get points for it, that it counts over time. What are you doing here? I recorded some tapes, wanted to show them to one of my friends. He's a record producer, but he didn't even bother to play them. Said he doesn't need people like me. Screw him. He doesn't know a thing about music anyway. My mom is a music teacher and teaches me to play different instruments. Do you like music? Listening to it, sure. Playing it, not so much. It is hard, but my mom forces me to. So he can play music and probably read sheet music, but he can't really read. I understand. Want me to give you a few of my tapes? I don't need them anymore. Oh, cool, sure. Do you live here? Sort of. This is where we grew up. We come back here sometimes. Can you teach her more tricks? You can practice the other commands yourself. You now know how to do it now. Your pumpkin, is that right? She's lucky to have an owner such as yourself. Thanks, we need to go. We got stuff to do. Goodbye. Ciao, sweetie. Bye-bye. See you next time. Um. Oh, I'm the best racer ever. I got to the store faster than anyone else. 
I met some awesome girls. They're all grown up and go can go out whenever they and wherever they want. They helped me learn a new trick, and now Pumpkin can give handshakes. So that's still the... Oh, what was that? Like, Stas. Okay. Who is this? Sanya, let's go! The shop's open! It's interesting how there was just someone sitting there and I can't interact with them. And then we can't go there. Probably eventually, though. Has anything to say? Okay. Let's go. Hold on. You can't take the dog inside. You'll have to leave her here. What if she runs away? I know what to do. I'll teach her. I'll tell her to sit here and wait. Sit. That's right. Good girl. Sit here and wait for me, buddy. So that's Katya? Yeah, she's a lot older looking than us. We're all like eight or ten years old. Um, before we talk to her, I just want to see. There's not really anything to examine. Oh, there's kitty cats. Hello. Good day. Ah, hello, Eve. Hello, Katya. Two brofs of lead, please. What? Now that's something you don't hear every day. <laughs> don't worry. Stranger things have happened. Maybe we should add a brof of lead to the regular stock. Anyway, take what you need. Um, is this one white bread? Um, I think that's... They need two of these. And it was rye. Which one's rye? Uh, is, is this rye? Is that... Is that right? I don't know which one rye is. Is rye... Rye's darker, right? You have enough change to buy a chocolate donut. Would you like one? Why not, if there's enough? What? I think it's wrong. Look who's talking. You haven't spent a day here yet. Don't order me around. But Sanya's right. It's not our money, and... It's making me feel bad about taking money from the purse. Come on. Eve's grandma will give us the change anyway. She always does. And besides, I would rather have a chocolate egg anyway. How about a candy bar instead? Let's play rock, paper, scissors. The winner chooses what to buy. I want bubblegum then. Who's up to it? Um. You see, I don't want to do this because it's not, it's not right. But also like, I feel like this is like, the game wants us to do this. So then we get like, we learn a lesson about spending people's money. Maybe. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Wait. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, did it show what he did? Yeah, I can't- I can't know what he's gonna do. Okay, now it's tied. Oh my gosh. Uh. Hey. Yeah, I think the game did want us to do this. <laughs> Kinder surprise. Yaitsa is egg. Burbo. We probably... Oh, apple. We were gonna buy an apple one. So that's fine, because the, the guy wanted to share apple with us. Yablaka. That's also apple. I wish you could read it. Vilky Vey. <laughs> I can't read it. It's too small. Sars? Oh, like Mars. Um, Knickers, yeah. 
We want this one. We have some money left. So we can buy whatever we want, right? Do we want do we want to spend money and stuff? Like I feel like we can get one. this is kind of fun. Uh but we don't know if we're gonna get more money later on. Wagon wheels? Oh my gosh. For Hagen Hells? I'll buy the- let's buy the cheaper ones? No, okay, that's good. That's good. We'll just get the cheap ones. Something new in your pockets. Um, I bought two things. Where did they go? Hello? At least we got- this is the important one. I still feel bad about using the money. Anything else? Uh, no, thank you. I just wanted to say that my name is Sanya. Nice to meet you. I'm Katarina, but you can just call me Katya. Is it? I haven't seen you here before. How long will we stay? How long will you be staying with us? Probably forever. Dad got a job, so we moved here. I like this place. I'm glad to hear it, and it's good that you're already friends with Eve. And with Tioma and Max and my best friend Pumpkin, it's my little puppy. And I'm now friends with you too. That's cool. Oh, it's interesting with kids. They just um, they don't, they befriend everyone so fast. So we still got a. I beat Max in an argument. I'm a real master of rock paper scissors. Okay. Was there anything to say to these folks? No. Uh, where is Pumpkin? Oh no. Pumpkin! Pumpkin! Come here, puppy! She couldn't run away. I told her to wait here. What if someone took her, lured her with a bit of sausage, and brought her home? Oh no. But she had a collar and a tag. Exactly, a tag. Not just a piece of paper. Maybe she just wandered off. Let's look for her. Yeah, and it's best if we go different in different directions. We can check out more places that way. Dibs on looking behind the store. Alright, let's do that. So you guys are all... Well, two of them are going that way. You're staying there. Is it possible she went through the fence? She's not here. Can't say anything to those two. Do you know where the puppy is? No? She's not- I heard something. I heard a baby or something. She's not here. Oh, is there a baby? Did the puppy find a baby? There's nobody here. Oh my gosh. Is she okay? She sounds like a baby. <laughs> Maxim, Eve, Artyom, come here, quickly. Let me get you out, buddy. How'd you end up here? Aww. Hooray, you found her. Vanya, you're the best. She was stuck in here. I pulled her out. Let's go home then. My grandma's gonna be mad at us for taking so long. You go, and I'll join you a bit later. Are you sure you remember where to go? You won't get lost, will you? We're not going to look for you. He's kidding, of course, we will. But it's still better not to get lost. Yes, it's fine. The road goes in a straight line. I can find the way myself. See you in the yard then. Bye! Can't right now? Okay. Um... Okay, we can't go that way. You okay? Good girl. So if I walk, she won't follow, right? Come here. Good girl. Oh, it sticks your tongue out. That's so cute. Oh, I love the, the sun. Come on, puppy. Oh good, she's coming through. Come here. And then 
we just need to get our bike. bike in a second. I just want to look over here. We gotta go talk to Stas. It's not letting me go past here the same. Wasn't wasn't I able to go almost to a fence? I guess that's just for the finding the puppy part. But they said not to go where the other kids went, so it made sense. So should I go straight and, and then turn around to the garages? Um, I'll figure it out. Let's go. Yeah, I think we're done here. We're done here. A new thought. Pumpkin got lost, but I found her. It looks like she chased after a cat and got stuck under the roots of a tree. Oh, okay. Now where the heck are we? Sanya... Hawks? Locks? Is that a P? Piketio? Yeah, yeah, I don't know what those mean. Um, once I bet my dad a hundred ruples that I could learn a hundred cars in a week. I lost, but I never did pay back those hundred ruples. Ah. Wait. Oh, I wanted- I should've- uh, I wanted to- mm. There was a little tidbit to read. What's wrong, you? Hey, what's wrong? I'm so stupid. I have to buy two loaves of white red bread and one and a loaf of rye. But I, as always, can't do anything right. I'm so sorry. You can tell it was I who messed things up. Yeah. My mother's never angry with other kids, only with me. So it should work with your parents, too. <laughs> All right, I'll give it a try. I thought I thought I had the right ones, right? I'll stay here for a little while, okay? Just don't tell Max I cried. And Chioma too, will ya? My lips are sealed. Aw, is that- that's not the grandma, is it? Oh, that's just some- Oh, that's the apartment? Um... So how is your ex- ex- uh, your tour around these parts? Excursion? It's nice here. You'll get used to it. Well, there's a pram here. You still haven't seen the forest. That is the coolest place yet. What's there? It's just cool, that's all. There are trees, stumps, ravines. You can climb up high or build forts. But we're not allowed to go there. It's really dangerous. Yeah, well, I got you figured out. You're afraid of the forest ghosts and now you're scaring everybody else. No, I'm not. Eve is not afraid of anybody. She's not even afraid of kissing frogs. I saw it myself. Aren't they causing warts? That's something they say about toads, and it's not true. Toads are actually very cute and harmless, just like frogs. Say, would you like to go to the river to catch some toads? How about we play something else before it gets dark? Let's play football. Our ball is full of holes. Then let's play tag. Oh, I don't feel like running. All right, all right, then let's play hide and seek. You don't need to run to play. Is everybody in? Uh... Uh... Like, I want to play, but I also wanted to explore. The last one to answer is the Seeker. Oh, okay. That's fine. Hey! Oh, alright, alright. So we can still, uh, we can still explore. I'm counting to five. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Phew, I haven't had the time to explore all the nooks and crannies here yet. Where can the guys hide? This will take forever. I need to come up with something. Hey, Pumpkin, maybe you can help me out, girl. Can you set track a scent? Do you smell something? They wouldn't. Interesting. Oh, the kiosk. In 1990s, kiosks were widespread in Russia, offering various goods like snacks, drinks, and household items. They served as a convenient retail outlet. They served as convenient retail outlets and social hubs, reflecting the transition to a market economy. Nah, it's unlikely somebody's hiding in there. The vendor would not allow it. I won't go there it's, since it's kind of scary without mom. Oh, that's cool how she can smell stuff. It looks like the hair was here before. 
I don't think this will help us in any way. Let's look for something else, Pumpkin. Oh, there's nothing. Now, was there anything on the left here? So we do have to go home. I do want to talk. I do want to. Hopefully that sass guy is still there. Why is that open? Okay, there's not- I don't think there's anything- Is that the forest? kind of blah, but maybe there's something cool hidden in here. Maybe I'll find out someday. Oh, so many yards to explore. I'll definitely check them all out, but first I need to at least explore my own. Okay, here's something to sniff. <laughs> That's so cute. What do we have here? Someone pulled the flowers from the flower bed, but was caught in the act. They startled the thief, and he had to run, so he lost his bandana. If I find the owner of the bandana, I'll find the flower mortar. Hooray for Detective Sanya! So we'll keep that. Is there anything else to sniff? Yes. Ah, oh, I'm about to get crushed! Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just a cap. I hope no one heard me screaming. Who threw it in there? Hmm, it's just a cap. Too small to fit on my head. Pumpkin? What's that? Did you pick up a scent? Oh. Is that- that's not one of the friends' hats. I can't keep up, dude. I don't see where you went. Dog. Oh, there. Okay. Hi. The trail leads here. What would Batman do? It looks like it's closed. When was the last time they opened it? It's so rusty. Okay. Could I sniff that before? Or did I not look at it? So... Oh no, oh, oh, come on out, I found you. <laughs> Find Archim during hide and seek. Ooh, you got a great hiding place. I'm the hide and seek champion, but you did well too. Can you show me the good hiding spots around here? Well, all right, but not all of them. I still need to hide somewhere myself. Awesome, by the way, um, Sanya, I have to tell you something. It's a secret. We have a rule, you see? You have to show that you're strong and mature. And you, um, well, you'll have to prove it. Max said so. Why should I? Well, this is what everyone does. You just have to. So what do I need to do? You have to go to the woods at sunset, walk 100 steps in, and stay there until it gets dark. And what if I don't? Nobody wants to, but you still have to. Otherwise, something very bad is going to happen. And no one will want to be, your fr be friends with you. Including you? Um, I too will be cursed if I do, and I have to take care of my mom. And one more thing, you have to be very careful as you go, and sit tight until the moon rise, so you won't stir up the ghosts or they'll drag you away. What ghosts? Where will they drag me? The real ghosts. I don't know where they take people, but a couple of guys disappeared last time. They were just gone. Everyone was looking for them, but couldn't find a single trace. The ghosts took them too. Ugh, creepy. Sure is. My heart starts pounding each time I think about it. And one more thing. You're my friend, right? Of course I am. You see, I'll have to go there soon, too. And a few kids went missing there last summer, and... Then why on earth would you go there? Because I have to. It's a rule. Everyone already did, even Eve. I'm not a chicken. But what if you go missing, too? I won't, or my mom will kill me. 
If you do everything right, nothing will happen. I'm either gonna go missing or my mom's gonna kill me. But I don't know how to do it right. Then let me go there instead of you? But why? I'll just look around to see what's what. I'll tell the ghost you're a good kid and pass on a gift from you. So they'll not harm you. But what if something happens to you? Nah, it'll be... It'll be okay. I'm lucky. Are you sure? Yep. You are a real friend. Okay, so we're going in the evening. So the only thing I want to do is talk to... Should I do that before I go to the... I don't know if I can come back here. Found Archim in the garages, a great hiding spot that may come in handy. Oh, he said I have to go into the woods at night or no one will want to be friends with me. We decided to play hide and seek, but I got to be the seeker. Unlucky. I hope there will be a second round. If I go right from the house, I'll walk straight into the hood of the woods. I should go and come back before it gets dark and mom starts looking for me. Okay. There's definitely something here. There's no one here and it smells weird. Ew. Uh, we're not going to the woods yet. Hang on. Hang on a second. It's interesting. I'm conflicted between, like... I want to go talk to Sass because, like... I don't know if I'm going to have time to... That's not the bunny right now. I don't know if I'm going to have time to come back and talk to him to get the... I think I have to. Where's the dog? But uh, and I don't know if the kids have to be hiding on this street here. Oh! Oh, th oh, I know where we are. Where's the dog? Dog? Dog, I need you. Oh, I think the dog- I didn't- did I have him sitting? Oh my gosh. I need the dog to sniff stuff out. Where does this go to? Does this go to talking to the woman? Oh, I see. Shh, her, shh, ahem. For heaven's sake, why are you not wearing a sweater? You must have caught a cold already. You have a nasty cough. Mom says you'll never get sick if you eat porridge in the morning, and I do eat it. I had oatmeal today. She's not wrong, so listen to your mommy, dear. You don't want to be sick in the summer. All your friends are out playing, and you're stuck at home. No good at all. Speaking of my friends, have you seen them? By any chance? Oh, my eyesight isn't what it used to be. <laughs> but I did see someone slip into that dark, dusty, oil-smelling place. Phew, riddles. I loved them so much when I was your age. Make an old lady happy and guess what place this is. And come again if you'd like it. I have riddles to spare. Alright, I guess. Thanks, I guess. Okay. So I thought this was going to take me out there. Where's the dog? Did the dog go in the forest? Because I thought the dog was sitting... Dog. Kim. Do I have to drag you? <laughs> Come on. Can I see her? Oh, <gasps> I can't see her. Oh, good. Okay, she is following. That's annoying. I thought she was following me. Like, obviously she wants me to go that direction, but... I want to go talk to Sass. What's the name? Sass or Scass? Sass. Oh, it's as, as a T. I need you, dog. I need you. It takes so long. Nothing to sniff here. We never did play hopscotch.
She can't sniff that, can she? Oh, I just have to move to her. Pumpkin, wait! What's that in the bushes? Did you find something? Pumpkin, can you fetch it? What's that? Girl, thanks. Just a stick. Well, it can be used to swat at nettles. What? Is, what is that? A deflated ball. Too bad we could play soccer now. I'll take it. Maybe my dad can patch it up. Oh, cool. What is this thing? Why can't I click it? I had it for a second. There it is. Oh, you click the center. Whoa! A keyboard. Is that a piano? Or what's it called? Mom could play something on it, but I can't. I wonder who it belongs to. Pumpkin, what's going on? Did you catch a scent of something? Oil. I mean, there was the cars. Do those smell like oil enough? I lost the dog. Hey. Here I am, brought you apple gum just as we agreed. Wow, so you're a man of your word, Sanya. Well done, here's half a strawberry one for you. Cool, thanks. So are we friends now? Comrades, does that work for you? Well, my dad says that a lot. Sounds cool though. Okay, you then. Oh, I thought he was gonna help us find something. So, let me try talking to him again. Oh, it doesn't let me. So now that we're friends, I might... Maybe the dog can help sniff... Ooh, what'd you find there? There's a piece of cheese here and you can't reach it? Alright, I'll help you out. But then you will keep searching. <laughs> What's up? Are you waiting for command? Go get it. Nom 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 nom. Oh, there she is. <laughs> find Eve during hide and seek. How did you find me, Sanya? The cheese gave you away, and Pumpkin sifted you out too. That was there the whole time. My cheesy little buddy. I knew it. No regrets, though. By the way, did Archim say anything about me? Oh, does she have a crush on him? He didn't. Why? Never mind, then. I can ask him. No, don't. Do not ask anything, and don't tell him I was wondering. I'm just curious. Well, anyway, come. I'll tell you something. You'll never believe it. But only if you promise you won't get scared. Um... What the hell? Found Eve with the help of my doggie. Wow, Eve knows a thousand scary stories. Comrades, exchanging chewing gum of different flavors was truly genius. Sanya is the brains. I left and now I'll never know how the argument between Tolia and Kolia ended. What? What's this refer- what does that refer to? I- yeah, I don't know. Okay. Was that the TV show I was- for? no. Are you scared? Not even a little bit. And besides, I have a dog. I'm not afraid of anything with her by my side. I had a dog too, but then the ghost from the forest took her away. Want me to tell you this story? It's creepy. I also know stories about the dead people in the woods. Um, and about the needle hands man. Tell me about your dog. I already told you I had a dog once, right? Old Jessie. Did she look like mine? No, Jessie was huge, almost as tall as I. 
I was smaller back then, but still. She was jet black, darker than coal. She was very sweet, always licking my face, and I was stealing cheese from the fridge for her. I hope my dog grows big too, but I'll love her even if she won't. Anyway, Jessie was already old, and she vanished. She just vanished one day. Dad told me she went to the woods like all the other old dogs do. Self-walking or allowing dogs to roam freely was a common practice in Russia during the 1990s due to economic difficulties and a lack of strict enforcement of pet ownership regulations, many dog owners would let their pets wander outside without supervision. This was partly due to the belief that dogs could fend for themselves, and partly due to the inability of owners to prop afford proper care, including regular walks. I guess they're too busy working. It is quite possible that Eve's dog got lost or something happened to her, but the parents told the girl that she suddenly went into the forest. I went to look for her and got lost. My mom would never let me go outside again if I got lost. Exactly. That's why I didn't tell my mom anything. She would have lost her mind, too. So I got lost, but then I heard a dog barking. I knew straight away it was Jessie. She would never have left me like that. I followed the sound and found my way back home, and Jessie stayed in the forest. Maybe she likes it there with all the other old dogs. Maybe. But I still miss her. I also know stories about the dead people in the woods. And about the needle hands man. Completely dead? Like dead kind of dead? I mean exactly what I said. They're not dead. They are dead, but not entirely so. They can talk and walk, but they're not alive anymore. People go missing in the woods. That's normal for a town like ours. So they go missing too, but not completely. Can I take a peek? Did you see them yourself? You can see them if you go into the woods at night, but you shouldn't do that. You think they could drag me away? They can take you along with them to play, and you'll you'll forget that you need to go home. You'll have to trick them to get back. Or they'll keep you around forever. Oh. I also know stories about the dead people in the woods and about the needle hands man. Needle hands, how's that? They say there's a guy with needles for hands. He walks around the clearing with dead trees and stabs everyone he sees. Cool, when we came here I saw a tree was full of holes. I guess it was that guy. It could have been squirrels, but you better not check. Because he's hiding behind the tree, and when you approach, he, bam, stabs you. Ew, there's gonna be blood all over. So I feel like he's gonna chase us, and I'm gonna have to run and like hide in that door that I found. Because he said it would be useful later, but you won't be able to see it. You won't be alive to see it. Where did he come from? Nobody knows. They say he ran away from home. Or maybe he was just abandoned in the forest. I also know stories about the dead people in the woods and about the needle hands, man. That's enough. So you have a whole bunch of ghosts around here? Uh-huh. Jeez, we had nothing like this where I grew up. But my mom was still going on and on about how bad and unsafe our neighborhood was. That's why we moved. If my grandma hears about these ghosts, we'll have to move again. Or she'll fill our entire flat with icons. Well, yes, but... What is it? You have to prove you're brave and kind-hearted. Then the ghosts won't try to drive you out of here. Well, we stole money from mom, so that's not good. To do that, you need to go 100 steps deep into the wood and wait until the moon rises. And what if... what if they won't like me? Then you'll be cursed. Forever. And no one will be allowed to talk to you because the enemy's friend is also an enemy. Even my mom won't talk to me? I don't know. Max said the ghosts can only be mad with us. I don't think they can be angry with your mom. Did you go to the forest? Yes, in the beginning of summer. My mom grounded me after this, but at least I'm on good terms with the ghosts now. I brought them my mom's cookies. It's the best treat in the entire world. I see. Do you think they'd like some chewing gum? I don't know. You can ask Max. He's our ghost expert. Okay. We need to find Max. There was some stuff I we walked past. But I know you can walk... Uh-huh. Oh, the force is this way? Uh, I'll be quick. Just, you know, Mom won't even notice that I'm not here. Not time yet. I think... Okay, Max might... Oh, he must have gone left. 
I thought the forest was left, but I suppose that's where we were riding our bikes from. From the market. So do you have anything to sniff? Drink it. What do you think, Pumpkin? Thanks, Pumpkin. What, why are you running backwards like that? Are you good? Are you taking more? Oh, there's Max. Something in your pockets. Utram. Utra. I think Utra is day? Tres. Kaz. Trnuk. I don't know what any of this means. No, I have no idea. <laughs> I saw Max. Are you looking for something? So I think they were... They poked his head out from the tree, so then we would know to go this way. Dog? Pumpkin? 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 It's just easier to keep the, the dog with me. So you don't sniff the newspaper. I can't even go upstairs if I wanted to. Yeah, it's much easier just to do this so they don't have to wait for him. Her. So we'll go left, find Max, and then we'll go to the forest, I suppose. We never found that stuffy. Now she had riddles for us. I think that one was for Eve. Oh. Sure. Uh, ahem. For heaven's sake, why not? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen my friends? Oh, my eyesight isn't what it used to be, but it is to slip into that dark, dusty, oil smelling place. Oh. Okay, that doesn't really. I thought she was gonna update her hints. Oil smelling place behind the cars. Uh oh. I guess. Uh oh. Let me try the- oh, what's this? Oh, I told the dog to go there. That's fine. There was another option to talk to her with. Gently touch her. Oh, I messed a doze up. Did you get lost? Can I help you, my dear? Nope, you guessed wrong. I'm not lost, but my friends are. Don't you worry, they got lost on purpose. We're playing hide and seek. Maybe I've seen someone suspicious. My eye but I did see someone slip into that dark, dusty, oil-smelling place. Okay. So that was... She didn't have any other new things. Hi, puppy. So... I saw Max. Like, he was behind a tree. Did he slip off into the forest? Because I can't... I thought I was allowed... I thought I was able to go back. But it doesn't let me. And I don't I don't see anything else to sniff. Which tree was that? It was this one. I see I see him. Oh. 
I can see you. Come out. That's not fair. Why so quickly? Actually, you took forever to find. You can't hide very well. You didn't hide very well. I sure did. You just cheated, Shorty. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Prove it. Then let's fight. Who will see who was cheating? What? Fight? You mean for real? Of course. How else? What are you, a chicken? I... Okay, let's fight. If I win, that means I wasn't cheating, right? If you win, that means you cheated for sure. Shorties never win. <laughs> I'll beat you fair and square. Let's fight. Look at him all puffed up and brave. <laughs> nah, I don't want to beat up shorties. Let's fight. Change the tune, will ya? This let's fight of yours is getting boring. If you want to play brave, fine. Go <laughs> 100 steps deep into the wood and wait there until dark. Do you know how to count to 100? I do. Then go. And I will. You'll see. I'll go right now. You do that or everybody will know you're a chicken. I'm not a chicken. Then prove it. Oh my gosh. Max hid behind a tree and then we argued. I have to go into the woods now. How stupid. Why did I even start this? Okay. If I go right from the house, I'll walk straight into the woods. I should go and come back before it gets dark. But we have to stay there. We have to go a hundred steps in. I'm going to stay there. I'm actually scared. <laughs> These kids have painted a very scary picture. I don't- I don't know, man. Dog? Dog. You can't sniff anything here, hey? I'm a little upset that, um, that Stas guy didn't help us find the bunny. Not gonna lie. Okay, here we go. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Okay. The forest is this way, isn't it? I'll be quick, just in and out. Mom won't even notice that I'm not here. Quick as a bunny. Okay. Is this counting? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Puppy. <laughs> Keep me company. Puppy. Come here. This is really pretty. I'm worried. I'm so worried. I'm so worried. Oh, across the river. Oh, you're a great jumper. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, can I double jump? What the? How do you get up there? How do you... Can I jump while I'm on that? Okay, there we go. You can, can, you can find everything? Okay. Oh, interesting. I don't like this. This is weird. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Trial for the Agile. Oh, okay. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Why is it? Does it matter where I think? Yeah, it matters where my people, my my arrows are pressed down to. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not good at that stuff. I was expecting something like this in this game. Holy cow. Okay. I am not good at this stuff. I wish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Fall for the crafty. I just want to finish this. I want out of this. <laughs> Oh, there's a snake there. <laughs> okay. I think we're almost there. I don't really... It doesn't matter about finding the stars for me. Holy cow. What does that red do? Does that mean I can't walk there at all? Oh, because I'm jumping here. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> 
Do I have to jump over this? Oh, I think it's just avoiding it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so he... Does he stop here? He does, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're almost there, almost there. <laughs> Yay! We did it! We got... Wow. What does this do? Huh? Definitely will not pass here. Oh gosh. I missed a bunch of things. I just Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. You can go. Oh! Oh my gosh. Hi puppy. Okay, we've made it. We did it. Okay, we're in the forest. That's fine. Don't make me go back through that. Okay. Hi puppy. We're very strong jumping with the puppy like that. So how many how many steps in do we have to go? Is it actually a hundred steps, I wonder? Oh my gosh. And we're waiting for the moonlight, so we don't want to leave until we see moonlight. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. A new thought. No turning back now. I've counted. I've started counting 100 steps. I should go in the right direction. But which one is the right one? This one. So we did, We just got to the forest with these trees here. This is a lot. It'll it'll update once we get to a hundred the one, two, three. Definitely counted past a hundred in my head. But we're just gonna keep walking until we hit something or a thought bubble or something. I wanna see the moon and we have to stay here till the moon. Um until we see the moon. It has to be dark. It's almost sundown. The hundred steps just made it sound more cryptic.
I wonder how far I got in the first time, because I was walking. I didn't start sprinting until like halfway on my way back. Can you sniff anything? Now, all the trees are looking that way. Does that mean I have to go where they're pointing? The dog's telling me to go. Where, the, where do you want to go, dog? Oh, they're looking this way now. So the dog's pointing to the left. Okay. And then at a certain point they start looking left, don't they? Is it because I'm going this way? Oh. Oh my gosh, we finally got something. Was I supposed to just follow the way the eyes were looking? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What is that thing? Oh my gosh. What the? That looks like Attack on Titan. Hello? Oh! Mom will kill me. So I fell. I was running for nothing. Ouch, it hurts. Mom will kill me. My leg hurts. Oh, can I not get up? That thing was spooky. Thanks. Oh. A uh, dog? Am I the dog now? Oh, did he run to go get help? Oh. There's his mom. So it looks like we adopted the dog. Nice. Oh, okay. Good, we don't have to go back through that forest again. Oh my gosh. So it was something to do with looking where the eyes are pointing. Welcome home. Complete the game. Yay. I never found the bunny. I don't know. Valia, Severin, Stas, Galkin. Oh, so one of the- that character was named after one of the, the directors. Valentine. Oh, that was the- wasn't that the family's last name? Niet bon... I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know what that- I don't know what that means. Okay. Like, that was kind of cool. It was kind of scary, but it was just- it took so much work to get to that point, and the climax of the story... That was very... just... anticlimactic at the end there. It was- overall it was really cool. I've just- I've just- I spent at least 25 minutes trying to get through that forest scene. And I wish I had noticed that the eyes were rolling to certain directions more. And the dog's nose was kind of pointing in different directions as well. But like, I kind of just wish it uh, gave me a little more of a hint of just Stefan, St Stefan, the dog voice actor. Ah, uh, just, I'm just 
overall I liked it, but that last part frustrated me. It was just kind of like, what? That's it? It's over? Okay. Alright, sad dreamer. Overall, I did I did really enjoy the music and the visuals, and there was a lot of little, cute little puzzles in there. Nice game to get through if you want a little something to play in the evening that you can you can do in one sitting, and it's not too hard for the most part. I just didn't I just didn't pick up on on a hint at the end there, but uh, oh man. <laughs> So now what? Can we just... Is there anything else? Oh, I guess you have to... Oh, you can scroll through them. Sanya was played by... Collect your name here. Um, collect your name here? Tootie? Okay. Well... <laughs> Yeah, so that was Sanya. A cute little game. Overall, really enjoyed it. Just got a little stumped on one of the puzzles, but overall, most of them weren't too tricky. And yeah, had some fun with that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good one. Later, taters. Bye!